Hello everyone, Richard here again. On a previous video, I reviewed the SanDisk 64 gigabyte micro SD extreme memory card. And in that video, I mentioned that you could use it in a Raspberry Pi 3. So today, what I'm gonna do is show you how to handle a larger than 32 gigabyte card because it, this procedure will work not just on a 64 gigabyte card, but a 128, 256 and higher card. And I'll put links for this stuff in the video description below. So what I'm gonna show you is how to make the 64 gigabyte micro SD or larger card work in a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. So I did a little research on doing this and for this video, and I saw several forums where people said 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD was the largest a Raspberry Pi could take. I think they're wrong, so let's go and see if they are. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is make sure that our Raspberry uh, Pi micro SD card is in our computer. I've got it plugged in here. It's a 64 gigabyte uh, SanDisk uh, micro SD card, and uh, I've got it plugged into uh, a SD card adapter, so you know it, it should be just fine, and it, it shows up here. I'm gonna right-click it and choose the properties on it, and you can see that it's 64 gigabytes. Uh, that it's there's nothing on it basically it's empty an empty folder but the, the trick here is that it says file system x fat the problem is windows won't allow you to format it anything over 32 gigabytes in a micro sd card has anything but x fat so uh, that's the issue really i think that's probably why people said you can't put any more than a 32 gigabyte micro sd card they didn't realize that you need to format the card as a fat 32 now I'm not sure whether you can do bigger than 64 gigabytes because I don't have a 128 gigabyte or, or, or a larger uh, micro SD card than this to test with, but I'm ordering one and then I may do an update video to this after that if it works or, or if it doesn't. Uh, regardless, uh, at this point, I don't have anything bigger than a micro SD card at 64 gigabytes to test, so I can only vouch that it works with a 64 gigabyte card. So this is what we have in here, and it's as, you, as I stated here, it's, it's formatted XFAT. Uh, and what we need to do is convert that to uh, FAT32. Fortunately, that's really easy. What you need to do is let's go out to the uh, internet here and do a Google search for um, GUI format. That's G-U-I-F-O-R-M-A-T. And I will put links for all this stuff in the video description below for everybody. So just do GUI, GUI format. I got the caps on there. That doesn't matter. And there you go. go. Windows GUI version, FAT32 format, Ridge Corp Consultants. That's what we're looking for. Again, I'll put a link in the video description below. And then you see uh, the actual program we need, which is right here. We'll click on that. And that's how you get the uh, file to download. Something I like about it, A, it's very small, number one. Number two, it doesn't install on your computer. It just runs which I like. So here, I'm just gonna hit save the file. Uh, save it wherever you wish to save it. I'm gonna just save it in my download directory. It's probably one there already. So yeah, I'm gonna replace it. Remember where you saved it and then, you know, it, it'll be easy to find. Now we've got that file. The other thing you're gonna need, of course, is gonna be a, a version of um, Raspbian. So let's go here. Uh, and I usually use something called noobs to do this. Uh, and again, this is this video that hasn't isn't really dealing with setting up your Raspberry Pi, configuring it or anything like that. This video is specifically uh, about formatting a micro uh, U, micro SD uh, SanDisk 64 gigabyte card to work with a Raspberry Pi. So I'll show you how to format it, how to install noobs on it, and then uh, you know, We'll boot up the Raspberry Pi just to prove that it works. Uh, if you need a full installation video on how to set up the Raspberry Pi from out of the box to an operating uh, desktop, I'll put a car card up here for you and uh, you can watch that video at your own leisure. Uh, like I said, this is just for formatting the card. Anything bigger than 64 gigs, I believe it'll do bigger than 64 gigs, but I don't, I can't prove it without the card. So here we're going to go to download noobs for Raspberry Pi. So that's N-O-O-B-S. Again, I'll put links for that in the video description. Pretty easy though. And what you want is the zip file. Now I'm not going to download it here because it's like 1.6 gigabytes. I've already done this, but just click on the zip file and then save the file. And it'll ask you where to save it and you know i've already saved it and uh 
Mine is a, a under Raspberry Pi here, I think, uh, here. Yeah, so I already have it here. And the latest version as of this video or in this moment is the Noobs version 3.3 uh, underscore zero underscore zero. So that's the one I'm going to be using. Again, you know, this updates all the time. So just save the file and, and you'll be done with that. So now we've got the two things we need. We need a, the program to format the card with and then the actual car, the, the actual uh, installation program for the Raspberry Pi. So we've got that. Let's go to the, to the noobs, sorry, the, the uh, GUI format. So uh, to downloads here and you should see it here somewhere. GUI format, there it is. Just double click it. Pretty simple. I love this program, works great. Uh, and by the way, you can use this program to format anything FAT32. I've done a two terabyte drive FAT32 with this drive, with this program. So if you're looking to format any drive FAT32, this will probably do it, okay? If there are other tools out there like Gparted and uh, you know various hard drive formatting tools, but this one works pretty good. So uh, we've got the drive, it's saying it's E. Verify that you're formatting the right drive, by the way, because if you format the wrong drive, you will lose all the data on that drive. So yeah, I got it, I got it labeled 64 SanDisk, right? It's pretty straightforward. Maybe you should do the same. And if you want to label it, just format it and change the label. You'll be fine. Uh, but here we are. I just go with all the defaults. I don't mess with these settings. I just go, hey, whatever the program thinks is right, that's what I use. So 64 gigs uh, says quick format. Quick format is fine on a uh, micro SD card. Click on start. It says all the data on the E drive will be lost. So verify your, your formatting the right drive. You've been warned. Okay. Happens fairly quickly. Um, you know, when it's done, it's done. Hit close, disappears. We're going to go back here and then we're going to go to my Raspberry Pi folder. And we've got the noobs that we need to install. And all you need to do here is just right click it, choose uh, extract all. It's a zip file, right? So I'm going to choose extract all. And then I'm going to dump it onto the E drive. So it, it wants to drive, put it on the C drive, but uh, we want to put it all that, extract all of it onto the E drive, and that'll create a installation boot uh, micro SD card for the RAS, uh, Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian operating system on it. So we're just going to hit that and do it. And extract. And I'll let this go through, and I'll pick it up at, uh, on the other side. All right, that's about finished up here. When it's done here in a couple seconds, we'll go take a look and see what's on the drive, and then we'll go from there. So here you can see the contents of the drive, everything on the drive that we just dumped into it. This is the installation uh, uh, data for the Raspberry Pi. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, well, actually, let's go take a look at the drive here. Just right click it, go to properties. And you can see that it now says that it's a FAT32 drive. So that's what GUI format did for us. So that's verifying it. We've got 1.7 gigs of data on that drive. So the rest is free space. So after installing the uh, actual uh, operating system on the Raspberry Pi or configuring the operating system on the Raspberry Pi, we'll see how much space we have left uh, after the first boot. And uh, I'll show you how to find that out and how to look at that uh, in two easy ways once we get it booted up and running. So here we are at the install screen for this Raspbian uh, OS on the Raspberry. And I want to show you something here right off the bat that you can see that it says 59,086 megabytes available. So the 64 gig card is being recognized right off the bat on the boot. So here I'm going to hit uh, uh, check mark on the Ras Raspbian full recommended install. And then we're going to install the whole thing. And through the magic of video editing, I'm going to spare you the process of installation. And I'll pick it up on the desktop and show you two more ways of seeing how much space there is available on the card. And here we are with through the magic of video editing at the desktop, fully configured with the 64 gig card. So I'll show you a couple of ways to find out if you're using the full thing. So, so I'm just going to open up the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi de uh, uh, command console uh, right here, the terminal. And... One way to do this is just to do a DF disk free uh, command. That's DF and space dash H, the letter H, and just hit enter. And then that tells you all your free space. As you can see here, it says 
available space, 59 gigs, uh, and the size 57 gigs, and you're saying, oh, I had 64. Well, it's just a matter of how different people measure 64 gigabytes. So I have a video on that as well, but trust me, this is a 64 gig card running on the Raspberry Pi uh, 3 Model B Plus. Now, there's another way to check is, is to uh, install a nice piece of programming, and that is called Gparted. So the way you do that is you type in sudo space, and then you type in uh, app apt dot get space install and g parted so that's g p a r t e d and as you, you can see it here on the screen then then just hit enter and it will if if you're connected to the internet it will go and get the package then it'll ask you do you want to install it you say yes. I'm assuming that you are connected to the internet and you've got this thing configured. And by the way, I have a full video on how to uh, take a Raspberry Pi from the box to this desktop, fully configured like you see right now. So I'm not gonna, that's why I didn't go through it on this video because it's just kind of redundant. You can watch that video and watch that whole process being done from, from like I said, from unsealing the package to uh, looking at the desktop as you are right here. So Gparted is now ins installed. And you can either type in Gparted here and, and just hit enter and it'll come up. Or you can come up over here and go to, I think it's under, not accessories, preferences, and you'll see Gparted over here too. So I'm just going to click on that. Ask you for the username, or, sorry, for the uh, password that you put in when you configured the Raspberry. So here we're going to hit, uh, I'm just going to put it in. There we go and then just hit OK. That's the, that's the super user password, whatever it is that you put in when, it, when you first configured the uh, uh, Raspberry. So here's Gparted, and basically what it is is a partition program, but it shows you uh, everything that's on the drive. And right now you can see that it's got a 57 gigabyte drive uh, and that a certain portion of it is used. Uh, currently it says, uh, let's see, FAT32, that's the recovery partition up front. Uh, if you click on this partition, you can see that it says uh, 57.63 gigabytes and 6.13 gigabytes of it is used. So there's the reason why you shouldn't be using any less than an 8 gig uh, partition or uh, 8, 8 gig micro SD card on the Raspberry Pi because you've got very little space left. But in, in this uh, configuration, you've got uh, 57.63 gigabytes. Now, once again, as I said, I don't know if this will work the same with the 128 gig uh, micro SD from uh, SanDisk, but it certainly does work fine with the 64 gig uh, SanDisk Extreme card. So, and it's a really, it's a fairly fast card. The 128 is actually faster than the uh, 64, and I will be purchasing it. And if it, and I will, I will be trying it in the Pi. And if it works, I'll update uh, this video and probably make another one for that that uh, micro SD card. So once again, I can't 100% verify that it's going to work with a 128 gig, but I can definitely 100% verify it's working with the 64 gig micro SD card. Xtreme from SanDisk. And I'll put links for all this stuff in the video description below, as well as the commands that I just used in order to uh, make this happen. Uh, two, two very useful commands, so no DF, and uh, obviously Gparted, this partition tool, is an excellent tool to have in any Linux operating system. That's it for my video on using a larger than 32 gigabyte, this case 64 gigabyte micro SD card from SanDisk, the Xtreme version, on a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. I'll put links for all this hardware in the video description below for you. If you liked this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a huge favor and click on the like button on the bottom right hand corner and give me a big thumbs up. That helps my channel, that helps my video, and I greatly appreciate it. Also up here you'll see a picture of me. That is a subscription link. If you click on that link, you'll be subscribed to my channel. As part of the process of subscribing to my channel, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video, and then you can watch it at your own leisure. Once again, and like always, thank you for your time, and thank you for watching.